Hello from the shed, this hallowed temple of wood, this symbolic structure of strength and security in these troublesome times. Um, I think you'll all agree the shed is a place where we solve problems for people. Um, these problems may be small, these problems may be large, but there is probably no greater problem for the travelling camera person than video image transmission back to base from an obscure location stuck in the middle of nowhere when you've got to get your pictures out to Facebook, out to YouTube or back to the studio securely, safely, in a robust and timely fashion without being shouted at. So how can we answer this problem? Well, we have a possible solution to my left. Um, it is a suite of products by Mobile Viewpoint. And to start with, let me show you the server, which is a little rack like so. So this can go in your house and you just have to plug it straight into your Wi-Fi network or equally, it could be in the studio um, on a rack somewhere. And into this, you can run four sources. That's four sources from four transmitters. So how do we get from the camera into here? Well, we use something called the Agile Air Link. I know you may be wondering, what does an Agile Air Link look like? Well, I can solve that issue and immediately show you this is the Agile Air Link. Um, it's quite a piece of kit. It's very light, so I guess you could call it Agile. It has this particular model, two SDIs and two HDMIs, one on either side. So you can choose to have two inputs. So you could have an SDI and an HDMI, or you could have two SDIs. It's powered via VLOC on the back, and that's the control panel at the bottom. And at the top, under here, you've got eight sims. Yes, you heard that correctly, eight sims. So you can put eight sims into here. They can bustle up and down the networks. Plus, you've got Wi-Fi and you've got Ethernet. So that's 10 forms of communication for your data transmission. And that's what makes this so clever. Now, the other thing that I like about it is that because it's so light and small, you can pop it even onto your camera on sticks on the back. Just click it onto the VLOC like that, like so. Or you can use this incredibly natty um, backpack and it slots in here underneath and you can put that on your back or you can hide it under a tree or whatever you want to do with it. So that's that. Now, the beauty of it is this is an H.264 and H.265 device. OK, so you can transmit with either. And let me just take you through the menus as I do. Um, the other thing that nobody tends to remember is that actually it can record internally. So what that means um, is that I can have three sources at any one time. I can be recording in my camera. I can be recording a high quality version in the unit. And there's the copy that I'm transmitting at the same time. The beauty of that is if there's an issue, you've always got your high quality recording. Also, if perhaps you need to resend it, you can go back to it and it's still within the unit ready to go later on. You have a, an account with Mobile View and that account allows you to literally drag across your source and then connect it to either the studio or to Facebook or to YouTube. Just literally drag it across and you can enter that with any browser. Very, very easy indeed. So let's connect it and see if we can show you a few things. I'm going to find a VLOG. Here's one we made earlier. So I'm going to plug that in there like so, and then I'm going to boot her up underneath there. There we go. There we are. And let's take a moment. And while that's happening, I'm going to plug in a source, which just happens to be this little camera down here. I'm going to plug it into there. And then we'll just wait for that to boot. Now, if I turn that to you at the same time, yes, there we go. You can see it coming up nicely. And I can see it as well. I'll quickly take you through the menu to show you some of the features. Shuggity, shuggity. Right, we're good to go. So let's just see if we've got start a preview. Uh, helps if you turn the camera on. It's a rare detail. Um, <laughs> there we go. Let's have a look. Oh, look, there are some tools. I think you'll agree 
That's another unique view of the shed from a different angle. So there's your preview. And as you can see down here, you've got a menu. You've also got a lock button, which is particularly useful. So you can slide it up there and then you can't actually mess with any of the controls. Slide it down and then obviously you can change things. I'll just quickly show you. So that's your preview. These are your connection sources from your SIMs to your Wi-Fi to your Ethernet. Then on camera, you can see I've got a range of data rates and H.264 and H.265. Uh, the useful thing about having different data rates is if you are just on a very patchy mobile signal, obviously you want that data rate lower. If potentially you've got Wi-Fi or Ethernet, you can ramp that data rate right up without any problems. Um, let's go there. And then here we've got uh, audio channels and bit rates again. I'm just showing you quickly everything as we go through. You've got local recording, disabled. Um, you can have a tally so that you can have you can have it connected but not transmitting. So you can get your shot lined up and then only transmit when you want to, which is actually very useful. And you can also alter the data rate of your internal recording, depending on what you need. So all of that works in there. Um, you've got mains power here as well, should you require mains power. And as you can see, it's a very useful self-enclosed unit, um, which really gives you options, I think, when you're out and about and you need to send stuff back. I hope that's been a good first look. And if there's any questions, do let us know. We will be looking at some other products by Mobile Viewpoint, but I think for the mobile camera person out in the middle of nowhere, this is a really good solution. <laughs> Oh, my God.